The basic principle of operation in any vehicle that runs on an engine is that power is generated in the engine and carried to the driven wheels in order to facilitate motion of the vehicle. There are a series of parts that are involved in the duty to carry power from the engine to the wheels and these are known collectively as the drivetrain. These parts include the transmission, drive shaft, axles and the wheels. Because the power generated in the engine can be distributed to either the front, the rear or to all four wheels, the drivetrain can also be arranged or configured in different ways to facilitate optimum power delivery into the wheels. In light of this, there are four main types of drivetrain configurations in vehicles. These are the front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive and all wheel drive. In this video, we are going to learn in more detail about each one of these drivetrains, its best applications, advantages as well as disadvantages. We are also going to look at and learn about the detailed differences between four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. If you enjoy the video, remember to stay tuned for more content to come. But in the meantime, do hit the like and share icons. If a vehicle has front wheel drive, this means that power is sent from the engine via the transmission and into the front wheels. Only the front wheels drive the car along and there is no power going into the rear wheels. A lot of modern cars that feature front wheel drive also feature a transverse engine. This is an engine that is mounted to occupy the horizontal space directly over the vehicle's front axle. Said engine is also connected directly to a device known as the transaxle. The transaxle is a single mechanical unit that combines the transmission, the drive shaft and the differential in order to transfer power to the front wheels to turn them. The transverse layout is the most suitable engine configuration for a front wheel drive because the engine is nearest to the driven wheels and power delivery is very optimum and convenient under these conditions. Front wheel drive dates back to the early 1900s and is currently the most popular drivetrain today. Although its most remarkable entrance into the market was through the Citroen Traction Avant in the early 1930s, its widespread adoption throughout the 2000s was influenced by the original Mini. Mini was arguably the first company in the world to create one of the best handling front-wheel drive performance hatches, the John Cooper Works. Popular city hatchbacks like the Volkswagen Polo, Renault Clio and Toyota Corolla all use front-wheel drive. One of the most significant advantages of front-wheel drive is improved traction, especially when driving up a steep road. The weight of the engine and transmission that sit directly over the driven front wheels helps to enhance the traction. Front wheel drive uses fewer parts and is cheaper to manufacture. This makes front wheel drive cars generally cheaper to buy. It returns better fuel economy because it is often lighter in weight. Front wheel drive vehicles are also more space efficient than other kinds of vehicles. This is because the front wheel drive mechanics are located at the front end of the vehicle, so this frees up cabin space for your passengers. One of the most well noted disadvantages about front wheel drive is that it performs poorly under low traction conditions such as water or gravel. Also, being nose heavy, front wheel drive can be difficult to control under high speed situations, especially when carrying heavy loads. This is because the front wheels carry a dual mandate to steer and drive the vehicle. Front wheel drive vehicles also have the propensity to understeer. When a vehicle loses traction of the front wheels, the car is more likely to drift outside of the curve and continue on a forward trajectory. This is known as understeer. 
Forward acceleration is generally poor in front-wheel drive vehicles because these vehicles are heavier at the front than they are at the back, so this badly influences takeoff. In fact, it is for this reason that most high-performance car manufacturers lean more towards rear-wheel or all-wheel drive. In a rear-wheel drive vehicle, power is sent from the engine via the transmission through a propeller shaft and into the rear wheels via a differential. It is the rear wheels that drive the car along the road and the front wheels do not assume any propulsive duties, so this frees them up to steer and maneuver the vehicle. A requirement of the rear-wheel drive configuration is that the engine and transmission be mounted along the vehicle's axis from front to back in a longitudinal fashion. This allows for an ideal front-to-back weight distribution across the length of the vehicle. It is for this reason that the longitudinal engine configuration can handle tight cornering far better than a transverse engine configuration can. In fact, this very property has influenced high-performance car manufacturers to employ rear-wheel drive because it also improves the handling of a vehicle. It is also for this reason that car spinners in South Africa prefer rear-wheel drive vehicles over front-wheel drive. More than 95% of buckies in South Africa use the rear-wheel drive layout. This is because rear-wheel drive is most suitable for towing and general heavy duty due to the absence of massive weight over the steering wheels. Rear-wheel drive vehicles generally have a good handling and better acceleration from the front to rear weight distribution. They can perform towing duties more efficiently. Maintenance on a rear-wheel drive vehicle is cheaper. Rear-wheel drive vehicles generally have got poor traction over slippery roads, which makes them more prone to slipping out of the track. There is less interior space in rear-wheel drive vehicles due to more space being required for the transmission and the drive shaft, hence the drive shaft hump. Four-wheel drive means that power from the engine is delivered to all four wheels continuously when the system is engaged. Four-wheel drive is a common feature in buckies and large SUVs. In fact, vehicles equipped with it are often referred to as 4x4s, where the first digit denotes the total number of wheels available and the second digit denotes the number of wheels which are being powered. For example, the 4x2 description for this Isuzu indicates that out of the four wheels that the Baki has, only two actually receive power. Four-wheel drive is suitable for heavy off-road duty, such as rock crawling, hill climbing, or wading across water. The distinguishing feature of four-wheel drive is that it can be manually engaged or disengaged by the driver as required. The functioning of four-wheel drive relies on two main components, the transfer case and the differentials. The transfer case is a mechanical device that is located between the front and rear axles. Its duty is to transfer power from the transmission and into the front and rear axles simultaneously. In a four-wheel drive system, the transfer case locks the front axle drive shaft to the rear axle drive shaft such that the two move in complete synchrony to one another. The differential, also known as the diff, is the gear located between the two front wheels as well as the two rear wheels. It distributes torque from the drive shaft and into the driven wheels and allows for a speed difference between the two wheels when the vehicle takes a corner. When locked, the diff does not allow for a speed variation and it forces the two wheels to spin in unison to one another. Because the transfer case in a four-wheel drive forces the front and rear axles to spin at the same speed, four-wheel drive should never be engaged when a vehicle is driving over paved road as this could severely affect the cornering ability of the vehicle.
One of the best advantages of owning a four-wheel drive vehicle is the traction advantage that it offers under all road conditions. However, vehicles equipped with four-wheel drive tend to have a high fuel consumption. They are expensive to buy, to run, and to maintain. And the fact that four-wheel drive can only be used sparingly does throw into question the worthiness of owning a four-wheel drive. With that said, however, it will depend the road conditions under which the owner of a four-wheel drive vehicle mostly drives. All-wheel drive works on the same principle as four-wheel drive in the sense that power is delivered to all four wheels at the same time. However, the major distinction between the two systems comes with the manner in which power is distributed into the wheels. When engaged, four-wheel drive splits the power from the engine in a 50-50 fashion across the front and rear axles. When disengaged, all the power from the engine in a four-wheel drive vehicle gets diverted into the rear wheels. By contrast, all-wheel drive constantly varies the power distribution between the front and rear axles according to the external road conditions. It is an automated system and it distributes power according to how much grip or traction each tire has. For this reason, all-wheel drive is always on and cannot be disengaged. Unlike a four-wheel drive vehicle that uses a transfer case, an all-wheel drive system uses a center differential to distribute power from the transmission between the front and rear axles. The drive shaft from the transmission is connected to the center differential. The center differential then acts as a transfer case and sends power to the front and rear axles. The all-wheel drive system normally comes equipped with a series of sensors that can detect how much traction each of the wheels has at any given point. Based on this, the system uses a computer to calculate how much power to send to each wheel based on the traction deficit. One of the best advantages of all-wheel drive is that it ensures a constant and adequate power supply across four wheels and can promptly compensate for any traction losses. A few disadvantages with all-wheel drive are that cars equipped with it are generally expensive to buy and they are less fuel efficient. They are also heavy and complicated to fix and to build because all-wheel drive generally uses more parts. Because all-wheel drive is often so quick to compensate for the loss of traction in a tire, the driver may not realize how slippery or frictionless the surface is that they may just continue accelerating the vehicle. Whereas in front and rear wheel drive cars, any loss of traction is felt immediately and the driver adjusts their driving behavior accordingly. The question of which drivetrain is best among these four depends entirely on the situation at hand. Day-to-day -day city driving requires a light, spacious and fuel efficient vehicle. Front wheel drive favors all these properties and is the most suitable to use around the city. Heavy duty work like towing and loading of passengers normally requires a rear wheel drive vehicle. Businesses related to vehicle recovery and the taxi industry make best use of this feature. People who drive over unpaved roads on a daily basis will benefit greatly from four-wheel drive because the changing terrain and the intermittent use of four-wheel drive will be fair for their use for their advantage. Under wet or snowy conditions or even ice sometimes, all-wheel drive is the most sensible because it has got the best traction and handling and it can promptly compensate for any losses of traction. Out of these four drivetrains, which one do you prefer the most and why? What drivetrain does your vehicle have and how has your experience with it been so far? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Has this video entertained, educated or informed you in any way?
If yes, then do consider hitting that subscribe button because there is a lot more content coming your way. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.